Uh, I'm Officer Jason Bourne with the Highway Enforcement Command. Officer Thomas on with the Highway Enforcement Command. The call came out as a crash. Went there thinking that's what it was. Uh, made contact with the drivers, a young high school guy, and uh, asked him what had happened. You know, were you involved in a crash? And he said, no, uh, just have a flat tire. I just don't have a jack. He didn't want to admit that he hadn't changed a tire, so we're like, all right, we'll teach you how to change a flat tire right now. We get the flat tire off and uh, go to put the spare on, and we realize that the spare doesn't even fit the car. The other front tire was so bald it had all the wires coming out. Mm -hmm. So we're like, he can't drive on this tire, he can't drive on this tire. So when we called a record, yeah. they show up. After he had called mom and dad, it had been pretty much established that that wasn't going to be a solution for us. And it was also very safe to assume that money was going to be an issue. So once the record got there, uh, we had him load up the car and um, paid him to tow it to the tire shop. Yeah. And we didn't even talk about it. We just kind of got there and, and told the guy at the counter, like, we need two tires. And uh, basically the, the collision that he was in had messed up the alignment on the car. So the, the tires, the tow or whatever, you, the alignment was off. Sometimes it's easier to just do things for people instead of the awkward, uh, you know, putting them in the situation of having to accept help. We uh, split the cost with the, at the tire shop, paid for the tires, and sent him on his way to school. And later that day, I ended up uh, set up a GoFundMe account to share on social media, kind of tell the story of, of him. And, and uh, you know, at the tire shop, we were like, dude, you need to fix your alignment or you're going to be in the same position. Um, months down the road uh, but you know going home and thinking about that it's like uh, I'm telling a dude with no money to go fix his alignment yeah he can't so set up the GoFundMe and and uh, just shared it on social media um, I'm a lot younger than Tommy he doesn't have social media don't you, don't so. you buy that he's only a couple years younger. <laughs> within a few weeks there was about a little over eight thousand dollars raised yeah Cody's brother reached out to me just to say thank you. And um, I kind of stayed in touch with him and let him know what was going on. And, and he coordinated um, with me to meet up for lunch. And uh, what Cody didn't know is that uh, Niall Maxwell had picked out six cars that they were willing to sell for. They didn't have a price tag on them. It was the, in excess of $8,000, like I assure you that. Mm -hmm. but. Went over to a dealership to, to look at cars. Um, he got to pick out a car and, and drive it around and went inside and signed the paper. It was pretty cool. It went from tires to a new car. So, And we checked the car at the dealership to make it sure it had have a spare, spare tire. Yeah. We got in the trunk to make sure it had a spare. It had a spare tire and a jack. So Don't know if he's practiced it, <laughs> but he's got one. Yeah. So. Hopefully he remembers how to change a flat. It gets, hard. it gets hard to work with them, all the hair hitting me from all those ladies running by. Jason, Jason! I mean, that gets hard.